Hello, my floss tube friends. It's time for another episode. I should say a hopefully regular episode. Hi, how's everybody doing on this fun, fantabulous Friday? Oh, if you've made it here, you may or may not know that I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher. This is my channel and video about cross stitch, sometimes knitting, I'm kind of out of the knitting zone, and other crafty endeavors. <clears throat> this is my floss tube. That's what a lot of the stitchers in this community um, on YouTube call their videos. So a floss tube. And this is number 102 and it is Friday, April the 30th, 2021. Woohoo! We have made it to the end of April. Fast, rapidly, <laughs> we made it to the end. So I am back on a Friday video and I have quite a bit to show you. Last week, those of you that are regular viewers of mine will know that I filmed a very, very short update video on Saturday as to where I was for my Friday video. Um, briefly, I would like to say I'm doing okay. I'm doing much better. <clears throat> a little bit more about that later. We're not going to get into that right now because right now it is a fun Friday Floss 2 weekly update. And I want to say welcome to anyone who is new. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, whether this is your first or you've maybe the last couple you've shown up. Um, last week was not a normal style video for me. Typically they're half hour, they're like made for TV movie length and filled with much more lively personality than what you had on last Saturday when I filmed that update. But I had been receiving so many messages, so many um, comments and things like that of, I hope everything's okay, that I, because I am so consistent that I wanted to make sure that I reached out briefly and shared what was going on. So I'll touch more on life later on. I will say thank you to those who since my last full length video have bought me a fancy floss. There are quite a number of you and quite a number of you who chose to remain anonymous, which is fantastic. Um, for those of you who may not know, you know what I didn't do? Say welcome back to all of you who are returning week after week. I love my floss tube friends. <clears throat> and I'm excited to share a regular type video with you this week, a regular old floss tube. First things first, after all of that administratively things. You'd think I hadn't done this in a while. I'm a little rusty. And I'm at video 102. I'm fast approaching my two year floss tube anniversary. But anywho, on this channel, we do virtual hugs. Started last spring, long story short, a lot of people loved it, I love it. So let's do some virtual hugs. We do one on each side, and then we give ourselves a big old squeeze. If, you're, if it's not your jam, fast forward or just sit back and be like, those people are bonkers. No, we like hugs. And some of us don't get hugs on a regular basis. So let's do some hugging. All right. So here we go. Ready for our virtual hugs of the week. This side. Mm, this side. Mm, and then give ourselves a big old squeeze. We're back. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Sorry. Thank you to those of you who purchased a fancy floss, several of you chose to remain anonymous. Um, I really appreciate that. That is something that I started back in the fall. There's a link in the description box. It's a buy me a coffee link, but I don't drink coffee. So you can buy me a fancy floss. It's a way of you showing that you liked something you heard, you enjoy my videos, whatever the case may be. I am not monetizing my videos. I have not since October. I have heard that there are videos that are videos that are getting ads put in. Let me know if there's any of those, please. That would be awesome. I don't know how to fix that, but I do not have monetization turned on. So any any videos that you see of mine from about middle of October on are not monetized. So there should be no ads. I don't know if YouTube adds ads even if you're not monetized. I don't know. I am drinking a drink from Starbucks today. I had a friend purchase me a drink the other day, and this is the iced passion tea. 
it's an herbal tea and does not have caffeine. So I can have it. I get the venti. I get a big cup. It is very humid, as you can see by the amount of drippage there is. And I get two stevias. It's delicious and very refreshing. Just a little something. It also has lemongrass in it. I think it has ginger. It has some lemon. So those are all things that can help with some of the things I've been going through. So let's get to some cross stitch. All right, we're about five minutes in. I'm not entirely certain what I showed in my last full, my video 100 and what I did not. So I'm gonna show some stuff. If you remember seeing it in video 100 and it has not progressed any further, you remember better than I do. <laughs> I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna show the stuff. All right, I did work on um, some new pieces. I know I have not shown these. So the first of which, I don't know where my cover image is. This is a freebie from Plum Street Samplers. If you did not know, Paulette Stewart on her blog, I mean, you just search Plum Street Sampler freebies, has a slew of amazing, amazing freebies. Amazing freebies. And I started this one last year in July for Jolly Joy Filled Whip You Lie. And it says, Long Lay the World and So He Came. And I believe this one is called And So He Came. And so since the last time I had this out, I finished off trunks of trees. I did all the white snow. I did all this white snow. I stitched this cute little triangular cardinal. I stitched the gold cross and these words. Um, I love this chart because it literally says you need a brown, a green, a white or light, uh, a golden color, black for the eye of the cardinal and two reds. I love that because it was like I could go to my stash and I pulled, I'm fairly certain it's mostly color and cotton. I believe one classic color works and then obviously I just used DMC 310. So this one's still on the hoop because I'm working on it. This is on a 28 count even weave from Seraphim in the colorway old stationery that I purchased as an eighth yard cut from... Fire poppies, I believe. So I put quite a bit of time into that. One thing I noticed this week, I gravitated end of last week into this week on some of my smaller projects I haven't touched in a while. Um, so next up, this was a new start. And this is one that I purchased from Crazy Annie Stitchers. It used to be an exclusive for their Christmas in, in July event. As far, I think this is readily available, but this is the Blue Flowers Cozy Christmas Cat. It's so cute. It's kind of this little sassy cat in an ugly Christmas sweater with some of these flowers that, like, I've seen, um, I think I've seen these in one of uh, Janine's other charts. I'm not sure. But I thought this was so cute to stitch for my sister-in-law for Christmas. So I started this earlier this week on an 18-count Bee Stitch Me fabric in Artemis. So it's just really pretty like gray blue and I am stitching this in mostly the DMC conversion and I think I pulled in one Gentle Arts um, cast iron skillet that's going to be the cat. It's like a really cool slate onyx looking. So I worked on that a little bit. Um, I did start in April quite a number of my projects that I plan to gift at some point. And so you're going to be seeing quite a few of those. One that I put some time into, I think before last week's video, was Silver Creek Sampler's Johnny Appleseed. It says, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord's been good to me. Backstory on this, it is going to my daughter's second grade teacher. That was last year. She, They sang this every day before lunch, and I love it. And I'm a little behind on getting this to her as a gift, but I didn't even start it until this fall. So I put some time into it. This is on an 18 count Ada from Color and Cotton in the color Colonnade or Colonnade. And I did some color converting to brighten up the colors. Um, and so I put in these words and filled in the rain cloud and put the raindrops. So, super fun. I'd love to say I would have this done by the end of the school year, but we have exactly 17 whole school days and two half days remaining. 
else. I don't think this will be finished and fully finished. So my goal would then to be spend time over the summer, get it ready, and give it to her at the beginning of next school year. That's what I think I will shoot for. All right, next up, ink circles, half the fun. So this is a chart that is currently exclusive to the Black Needle Society Up All Night box. No, this was not the Up All Night box. This was the... Is one of their boxes. I think maybe it was the monthly box. Now I don't remember. It was the March monthly box. On the go stitching. On the go stitching. See, I knew if I sat here long enough I'd remember. This is on 18 count Ada from Color and Cotton in the color Trade Wind. And I am stitching it all in sulky ver uh, blendables. 4055. It's this really pretty blue variegated that you will see here in just a second. So I am still working in the top left-hand corner. So we've got an airplane, a cute little like beetle style car, a unicycle, a skateboard, and a motorcycle. So I worked on that a little bit. I love the blue on blue. So fun. So, and I, of course, 18 count Ada is probably my sweet spot right now. I love 20 count, but I love the sulky on the 18 count. That is like my jam. All right, I have at least one finish. Since we chatted last, this is the first I'm going to show you. So this is from Cherry Hill Stitchery, and this is You Are So Loved. And I am stitching this for my best friend, who I also work with. She's our counselor. And she says, um, when she does her praise report, uh, you remember, you are loved. And this is on, I did color converting on this one as well. So I popped the colors a lot. Like I've got a bright turquoise. I've got this awesome, I love this one, Pickle from Color and Cotton. I've got Ash Plum from Color and Cotton. And then I have this bright pink, I think it's called Romance, from Weeks Dye Works. This is my old stock because it has, it's on a bobbin. And this is on a, just on an 18 count neutral Ada. And I finished it. Now, she says you are loved. So in lieu of the word so, I charted instead another heart in that pretty purple color, that ash plum. So I think it turned out really cute. I am going to do a hoop finish on this. I wanted to show it because I knew it would not be finished. And I think I'm going to wrap the hoop. Um, I'm not sure in what color, colors, ribbon. I haven't decided that yet, but I do think I'm going to wrap the hoop. And I think it's going to be perfect in about a five inch hoop. Um, so we'll see. How, but I will show you when I finish it. My goal would obviously to be give this to her by the end of the school year, which I think is very feasible because it's finished. It's just a matter of fully finishing it. And hoop finishes don't take me that long. I've done quite a number of those. That's kind of my go-to finish, I would say, maybe. All right, here is another new start. I am stitching this one for my dad. And this is heartstring, this bag I have it in, which is an awesome bag. This is um, Bags by Wendy, W-E-N-D-I. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, the chart is a little bit big. And so instead of trying to cram it in and out every time, I just made a copy of the cover. And so this is Heartstring Samplery's Sunday Stitches Amazing Grace. Um, I believe it calls for Weeks Dye Works. I chose not to stitch it in week to, Weeks Dye Works. So I will show you what I converted it to. It might have actually called for Classic Colorworks Campfire. I cannot remember, but I love this color. The green I am doing in Classic Colorworks Bean Sprout. And then my kind of dark grayish black. I think it was Weeks uh, Dye Works Onyx. I have subbed in Gentle Arts Soot. So this is my, it's only three colors. My color palette which I think is really pretty. I love how this is more on the blue side of gray black and it is still on the hoop because I just didn't take it off. This is on 18 count Ada from Color and Cotton in Corn Husk. So it's a really pretty neutral. It's got a real golden tone to it and I love these letters have been so fun to stitch. This is a very short amount of stitching like time. So I have safe thus far. So far, my stitching has been safe thus far. 
Um, so I've really enjoyed working on this. I will get back to it. I, my intention is to have this done by Christmas. Fully finished will be a frame for this one. I am going to lace it and frame it or stretch it and frame it. All right, next up is another new straw. And this is in a really pretty, like I'm not showing bags just for time's sake today because I have so much to show. But I, I don't think I've shown this one because when it came... I forgot to show it and then it got too long but this is a love you more studio sleeve and i love this one i love the watercolor effect or actually it more looks like acrylic paint or tempered paint and this bird uh and this butterfly just love it and i thought it was perfect for this project so this is barbara anna designs a cup of frida so it looks like a really cute like mug and then you've got Frida Kahlo and some beautiful plants and designs. I love how they finished it into a bag. Even the kitty cat. And I am actually stitching this for my daughter's best friend who adores Frida Kahlo and aspires to be like her one day. And so I am stitching this for her. And I actually do think I'm going to turn it into a small little pouch. I'm stitching it in the called for DMC. It is on 20 count Ada from Coloring Cotton trying to see and it's just a mystery it was from a grab bag but it's a really pretty neutral so I am working on her headband and the flower above the headband and I'm using one strand of DMC over one square of the Ada so yep still on the hoop <laughs> I'm running out of hoops because all my things are still on the hoops but that's okay um I want to touch some of these in the coming days or weeks or months or years I don't know if I showed my progress on this last video that I actually showed projects. This is Caterpillar Cross Stitch Hello Dear. Um, I was sent this kit to show during the stitch along back in the fall. I'm woefully behind. I am still on release too. It was my whip go goal. One of my whip go goals for April was to stitch 14 days on this. I accomplished 11 before I burnt out. So I feel pretty proud of that. And actually, it could come off the hoop because I'm done with it for now. Um, so I'll have to get three more days before the end of the calendar year, but that's okay. This is on a 32 count Lugana, and it's in pow splash powder pink. And so, as you can see, I've worked further up. I've finished almost filling in completely the squirrel and then some of this leaf work. And I've been just doing some color completing. I did some of the darker brown to do the pine cone. So, yeah. Um, this one will come back out, obviously, for three more days, possibly in July when I kind of focus a lot on my Christmas or winter theme projects. So it will probably come back out then. And this is actually in a Love You More Studio sleeve. It's a lot. It's the large size. I think they call it the full size sleeve, maybe. And so to give you some perspective, it will fit a, a nine by, you know, like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And then this is the um, standard. So I think it's standard and full, maybe. Now I'm not so certain of myself. All right, let me pull out these projects so I can put those back in. My, I'm about to have a topple. All right, I am not certain what I had showed last time of my Dreaming Girl stitch along. All the parts have been released. As far as I know, it's pretty soon, I think. It You cannot get it as sal pieces, you'll just get, or stitch along pieces. You'll just get the lump chart from creativepoppy.com. So I have been working, I have not worked on this in a while, but I'm not sure that I showed it. So I have finished release one and release two and have been working through release three, which is this whole top summer scene um, and just doing some color completing. I think it's beautiful. Um, looking at it makes me want to get back to it because there's some sailboats and stuff over here. So um, I need to kind of put this on my like radar. However, I just spent a bunch of time in April on all my Barbara Annas. So I feel like I need to give some love to some other things. Speaking of Barbara Anna, the next two and last two I show you are Barbara Annas. So this was my other April Whipgo project. And this is Santa's Trips. It's a it was a stitch along that started last July. Excuse me. Has nine parts. It is now available at Creative Poppy as one chart. Full chart. I am, so this one had a 14 day goal as well. I did three, I think. So I'll have some more that I'll need to it to work on this. However, it was started 
in July. So it will for sure get another day in July at least, if not more. But that was during my kind of burnout phase where like my stitchy bug was missing and then I was dealing with the health stuff and the, the last thing I was wanting to do was touch bigger projects. Plus there's a part of me that's wondering if I would have rather stitched this as ornaments. Possibly. So I'm gonna kind of figure out where I wanna go with this before I do too much more work because my thought is, let me see if it has the whole, it doesn't have the whole thing. It's got nine parts and then this beautiful like cranberry garland looking like holly berry garland all the way around. But I think it would be cute to pick just the squares that have Santa and Mrs. Claus with the animals and stitch those with the cranberry garland, either at the top or all the way around. I haven't decided. Well, so of course my ultimate plan was start the thing top left. So the first square is not an animal square, but I will finish this one, but I think I might stitch this one all the way around and turn it into like a little pillow. Um, but it's really cute. It's got, um, see how beautiful this border is. So I wouldn't want to get rid of the border if I stitched all like just the small animal ones. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. Um, but I've got a ton of fill in to do down here. There's a part of me that doesn't super love the fill in. Like I kind of like the way it looks right now, like over here. So there's a part of me that kind of wants to come and rip out this white because it's really tight. This is an 18 count. I typically stitch with two strands on my 18 count, but this seam, this down here just seems tight. Um, this is 18 count coffee club from Be Stitch Me. So anyway, um, I think I need to just like reflect upon it, figure it out before I put too much more work into it. I can obviously finish that square, but then we'll see where it goes from there. Last one to show you is in a beautiful brass button bag. It's huge, love it. I don't typically go for bags this big, but it's just gorgeous. And this one is holding uh, the Barbara Anna Mystery Sal called Dreaming Frida. The last part was released today, I believe. And the finish, the fully finish of it is fantastic. Oh my gosh. They turned it into a wedge bottom project bag. Yes, please. So anywho, I don't have an updated picture of what it looks like. However, this is the kind of spoiler picture and I can show you what I have. So this is on 20 count color and cotton, cotton Ada in sandstone. And I am working down in the bottom right hand corner with the release one. So there was a lot of kind of fiddly-ish color changes. So we've got these funky little flowers, the bees, you've got like either pollen or gnats, I'm not sure, <laughs> blowing around. And then this is a cactus that I'm currently working on. So um, this one's fun. This is 20 count Ada, so I am using one strand. I am using the called for DMC and or close if I did not have it. And yeah. Woo! That was 17 minutes with like 17 whips. Not really. Okay, maybe. Pretty close. Pretty dang close to it. Um, but I really enjoyed the things I worked on. So let's chat momentarily, like a little bit, about plants. So a couple people have reached out and said, hey, what are your plans for May? Um, historically, I have done Mania. This is the last official Mania. Mania is the fantastic idea that came out, I think, around 2015. Garrett Coffee Stitcher and Katie, and I think she, what was her name? I cannot rename, remember her name. I apologize. Started the group when kind of cross stitch was not like what it is right now. And it was this like, it revitalized and brought in a lot of younger folks and more progressive folks and you know, introduced us to all of these really cool designers and reju I feel like it kind of sort of started that rejuvenation. I did, I was not aware of it back then. When I got into stitching whole hog again was in um, late 2018, 2019. So my first mania was in 2019 and I started five things and I did a strawberry theme. I picked five strawberry themed projects. Of those five, four were UFO'd and one was fully finished. Um, and that's okay. I have learned to not pressure myself with like certain planned things because 
a lot of my style was still evolving. Some of those projects were on like 14 count. Some of them were on a really loosey goosey Ada that I did not enjoy. Um, so yes, that was my early days. That was like, that was circa my first floss tube videos. I think I was actually talking about my mania's plans. So then last year I did mania again and I started a project a day for the 23, first 23 days of May. I don't know what my reasoning behind that was. I'm not really sure. I think that I started with, I was going to do 20 in 20, but then I found some other ones in there. So then it grew to like 23, <clears throat> which is fine. I've since abandoned some. I finished some. I have some that are some of my most favorite whips. They just haven't been out in a while. So, I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm calling it a hybrid monogamania. Okay, so monogamania, or I'm actually not calling it monogamania. I'm calling it monogame. Um, I'm trying to steer away from using like mania because that implies manic and being someone who suffers from mental health concerns. Um, those of you that might be new, I suffer from anxiety and in the past have also suffered from depression. Um, and that's just, that's transparency. I, there has been kind of some talk of removing some of those terms, not using the words crazy, um, insane, like to describe things as being even awesome. Like, no, those, those kind of words, like I'm just not enjoying using those because I'm seeing how it would make me feel if those were words that had a negative connotation. So I'm calling mine a hybrid monogamania. Here's why it's a hybrid. Because I'm going with, it's the blimey cat method, which means I am going to work on the projects that are still active whips that I started last year on the day that they were worked on. So that's the, that's the May, like the, that part. That's the hybrid part of, monog of monogamy. Uh, the Monaga part is I found this, mm, I was watching Nicola, hands across the sea. Not a sampler girl, but this is not your standard sampler. This is not your Agnes, your Elizabeth, your gigantic, like, need an entire wall sampler with Beautiful motifs, beautiful verses, intricate borders, over one stitching, back stitching, specialty stitches. This is not that. This is like the um, circus has come to samplers. And I am here for it. So I am hosting starting tomorrow. It's a start along. So you can start it anytime you want and use the hashtag. But I'm hashtagging it Tom Foolery Sal because this, <laughs> like, this is just so cool. This sampler is called Tom Foolery. It's the Tom or Tom's Foolery. So I am hashtagging it Tom Foolery Sal, S A L, start along, stitch along. And I am just over the moon. Okay, so when I was describing this to somebody, I was like, well, it's got this funny little like mimey clown guy down here. You've got these super bright, vibrant colors. You've got a funny red dog lion thing, a lady down here. But then there's also like this little tiny person up here, this awesome flower. I said, this looks like a kidney plant, which, you know, how fitting. And then you've got these awesome bluebirds. I mean, just like everything about this is bright and fun and whimsical. And while I'm not a super fun house stitcher, I think it would be really neat to, to do like some variegation like even make it more amazing. And it's just like, it's just like the, the little girl who stitched this was like, well, I want this in my sampler and I want this in my sampler and I want this in my sampler. And her teacher was probably like, that's too much. No, it's not. And I'm, I'm here for it. I am here for it. So I know for a fact that Erin Two Martini Stitcher is going to be stitching this along. I believe she's starting on Monday. I'm hopeful to start tomorrow, but I need to pull flosses and fabric. This is all standard cross stitch. There's no over one, there's no back stitching, there is no specialty stitches. So you can stitch this on Ada, even weave linen, whatever, needlepoint canvas, whatever you want to stitch it on. 
and I'm super pumped. Uh, Erin showed me her color palette because she pulled from Stash. It's beautiful. It is bright. It is fun. Like I said, it's the circus came to samplers, and I am here for it. I'm here for it 100%. So this is my Monaga part of Mania. So I will work on this every day that... Well, okay, I say this, but now I'm thinking back. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is also part of my hybrid. I don't know. I'm going to be ex working on the projects that have birthdays, my previous starts during May, this chart, and then my two whip go calls, which my two whip go calls are Christmas Tree, which I call Christmas Tree of Magic by Barbara Anna Designs, and Garden Club, which I'm stitching four of those charts together. That is Blackbird Designs. And... How cool is that? It has a birthday. So I think I have those each slotted for a few days. I think their goals are both 14 days. However, I have touched Christmas Tree of Magic already, and so it doesn't need as many days. And I think I've woven those in and throughout, but then I've got Tom's Foolery. So yeah, so you're gonna be seeing hopefully a lot of Tom's Foolery. I've not decided if I'm going to center start it or bottom top center I don't know I haven't decided that yet we shall see I will probably do some color completing um but it's just so cool it's just so cool so please join in if you are not your standard sampler stitcher if you are your standard sampler stitcher come join in the foolery with me you know that I am all about nonsense and foolishness this might be the nonsense and foolishness of samplers and I'm kind of here for it. I keep saying I'm here for it. Well, I'm here for it. It's so good. So please come join me. It does have a rather lengthy list, floss list, for a hands across the sea sampler, but I think it's to get this level of like cram every awesome motif in that this sweet little girl who stitched it wanted to have in there. It has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 colors, which is, a, it seems like a lot. Now, granted, they stitched it in Overa Soie, Soie 100.3s. It also gives you Soie d'Alge and it gives you DMC. I'm going to pull DMC or variegated, like my hand dyed collection that's close. And that's going to be awesome. And I'm so excited. So I will hopefully be sharing this with you next week as a start with some progress to show you how amazing it is. Let me say this is part of her Little Gems series. So in terms of size, it is not super huge. It is 217 by 153. So in the grand scheme of samplers, it is not mega. It's not a mega sampler. It's not an Uffindel. All right. I think I've chatted enough about that. So, hybrid monogamy. It's it's not branded. It's not trademarked. It's not it's not anything. It could change. I kind of am trying to go anti plans. Because what I have found is I've pigeonholed myself so tightly these last few months that while I've enjoyed it, what I've also enjoyed is going to my whip shelf, looking through and being like, what have I not touched in a while? And what really is kind of like speaking to me to work on? And I'll pull that out and I'll just work on it until it stops. And I think that that's, there's, there's, um, there's a plan in that too. Um, it allows me to see, okay, what projects am I not gravitating towards at all? What projects am I like, mm, I don't know. Because right now I'm gravitating towards a lot of medium and small. I'm liking getting some finishes. I'm liking to see that. Not that they're getting FFO'd, but I am liking to see that. So that's, that's what May is. So those of you that were asking, that is May for me. I may follow that plan or I may not. So maybe we should call it May or May not. I may have a stitchy bug. I may not. And then these videos are going to be very short and very boring. So let's, let's say a little like, woohoo, let's have the stitchy bug here and present. There's not much stash folks. It's joy-filled stash stash time. It's joy-filled stash stash time. And for two whole solid weeks, this bucket's empty. I'm doing so good on my shopping. Yeah. 
So the first thing is actually more like happy mail. I received a super fun card. It says thank you. And it is from the Stitch Life team. So Dana over at Stitch Life sent me um, kind of my Patreon. Thank you so much for being a patron and supporting our being a patron, patronage, patronage. That's not a word for patronizing us. And sent me a snag dab it, which I don't have. So this is like amazing because everybody raves about that. I'm like, mm, what I wouldn't give for a snag nab it right now to try one. So I got one. I'm going to put it back over here. So thank you so much, Dana and the Stitch Life team. I love it. I maybe just flash my address. It's okay. The next thing is some yarn. I am part of the Forbidden Fiber and Erin Lane Project Bags. They teamed up and they do the Flock Buster Club. And so each month, it's alternating. You get a skein of fingering weight yarn. And then the alternating months, you get a project bag. So you saw that the last two months were themed around Robin Hood, the older Robin Hood. So it was a uh, skein of beautiful fingering weight yarn and then a fun little project bag. Well, this next two months is Fantasia. I literally squealed and went, ah, Stellina, this is gorgeous. I do not know what I'm going to do with it, but it is so pretty. So this is Forbidden Fiber Co. And this is her Pride blend. It's 70% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 10% Stellina. So for those of you that don't know, Stellina is cute, pretty little sparklies throughout. So it's kind of like the Etoile of yarn. So it still is mostly yarn, but then it's got shimmer throughout. So kind of like a 12, DMC a 12. And it has 495 yards. And this is themed around the movie Fantasia. So look at this. I do not know if these come to um, the shop. I am not sure, but I think this is incredible. Look at that. See the shimmer? It's so cool. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. What's really cool is you get an email that shares a bunch of um, a, one featured uh, knit, knit project, one featured cro crochet project that like they recommend, but then a whole list of other um, free knitting ones, free crochet ones that use one skein of it. Then there's paid knitting, paid crochet with one skein. And then there's free with two skeins two skeins crochet free and then paid to so it's like literally this super amazing reference I mean what's fantastic is I may not use them for this but it allows me to go hmm maybe I should bookmark that as a favorite and it might work for something else so I don't know if I already have a pattern in mind I don't know but it's just so beautiful Leanne you're amazing and I keep I keep waiting to see when news of Advent will be coming around. I don't know. And then I got an order from Fat Quarter Shop. I went ahead and purchased Flea Market Flowers. This is a stitch along that they are going to do. This is a Lori Holt pattern that is going to start in June, I believe. And so this will be a June start for me. I have not decided if I will stitch the whole thing as one or if I want to use do like little pillows or almost like little ornaments I haven't decided yet but I decided to go with what um Kimberly is going to do which is the fabric flare 14 count they call this pale gray gingham it was out of stock when I when she showed it I'm still significantly behind on my videos so by the time I went it was out of stock one awesome thing about the fat quarter shop website is you can be notified when things come back in stock. What's really cool about that is if you click through the email, it will take you in and allow you to purchase it if it is still available. And everybody else who got the email hadn't swooped it up. But like if you just go to the website and go, oh, pale gray gingham, it will actually show out of stock. So I think that's kind of a nice feature. Um, I think that's I think that's a feature they have. So this is fabric flare. It's the printed. It is 14 count Ada, which means this is going to be mega huge. That's why I'm thinking it might be kind of fun to break it up into little motifs. I even thought, okay, well, could I do it like in rectangles, long rectangles? So I haven't yet decided because some of these are fairly similar. I think this one and this one are similar or the same, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, this one and this one are the same. 
this one and this one look very similar, just size is different. So I just kind of need to sit down and look at it because I know I want to do this one. I know I want to do this one. I love the ones that look like quilt squares, like floral quilt squares. So I'm excited about this. There is still time to order it if you want to participate. And this is, these were not sent to me. I purchased these with my own money. I am not one of the ones that gets the cool stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. And I had seen this, and of course I want to stitch this. This is Stitchy Stars. This is also a Lori Holt. And I love this. I love this. So cool. And so my colors. Um, it is charted in Weeks Dye Works with a DMC conversion. I will not be doing the Weeks Dye Works. Um, I don't like stitching like them. But it's basically a red, a bright pink, an aqua color, a navy, and then the white. So I will probably just pull from stash. I have not yet decided if I will do mine all this way or if I will group them together, do them individually. I have not decided that yet. So yeah, this was stitched on 25 count oatmeal Lugana. So it's pretty, it's pretty big. This is, the finishing is an 18 inch board. So that'll tell you how big that is. But I'm excited about that one too. I probably will start this one in July, maybe for July 4th. I don't know. So that's all she, oh, that's all she wrote about that. So we're going to come in under an hour because what I'm going to share next is a little bit of life update briefly for those of you that want to, and then angel kindness card. So for those of you who may not have watched or have not gotten to my video last week, the little short, like six minute one, I have kidney stones. I have one that is in between my bladder and kidney. Currently it is still in between my kidney and bladder. I should have done it the other way around. And I have some in the opposite kidney that are smaller, that are just chilling. So basic update is no movement since we spoke last Saturday. Um, I've gone all week at work. Um, I went and saw my primary care on Tuesday and just checked in with her. They like to see you if you've had an emergency room visit. And so she kind of palpitated and I was like, dude, that hurts. Quit banging on my back. <laughs> Um, we talked about some issues I was having with one of the medications they put me on and making me feel lightheaded. And she said, that's a side effect. Have, have an electrolyte drink like a Gatorade or something salty to help bring your blood pressure back up. Um, but nothing too serious. It's just lower than what I'm used to, so it made me feel lightheaded. I go see um, the urologist on Monday, the specialist on Monday, so hopefully I'll get some further answers as to how to proceed if we're going to let these run their course, if we're going to go in and blast them, if we're going to vibrate them. Like there's a lot of different things. Um, some folks have reached out to me and shared their stories or their husbands or their sisters or their brothers or whoever's story. And I really do appreciate that. It helps me to know that this is not like, this is very normal. Because I'm sitting here thinking, what in the world did I do to get these? What could I have done differently to not have these? Well, come to find out, they're genetically predisposed, and both my parents have had them, and my brother has them all the time. So I guess it was just a matter of time before I had them. Um, it's just like, as my husband said, it's another check engine light that's decided to come on. Okay, whatever. Um, ha, 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 he, 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 oh, you so funny. I'm calling you 50 minus 3 now, just because I love him so much, and he's on the uptick to 50. Um... He's working a ton. Uh, Joyful Little One is so bummed. The school year's almost over. She's loving this year. Their grade has been so fun for her. I'm like wanting to shed a tear because like she's going to be in fourth grade. She only has three more years left in my building and then she's going to be on the other campus and that's going to make me like my heart being ripped out. It's okay. What's going to rip my heart out is her going to camp for a week this summer. Like a car ride away. Like sleeping away at camp. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I may just go, like, see if they'll let me stay. Be like, can I be mother or daughter camp? Can I be a camper? Can I be a counselor? Can I just sit and, like, stitch and just know that she's okay? Would that be okay? Probably not. Okay, probably not. Um, anywho, so we've got, as I said, 17 full school days left. We are out before uh, Memorial Day. And we have two half days. And then we have one staff day. So our last, my last official day is May the 28th. I am moving to a new position. I'm not choosing to share that right now. Um, but I am super pumped about it. Like super pumped. I am in, still in the same building. Um, I am can still qualified as a teacher. Like, so I am teaching. However, 
I, the one thing I will say is I now will be teaching every kid from K through six. So I will have a ton of kids and I'm pumped about it. Like I'm super pumped. I can't wait to share it, but I'm just not to that point where I want to share it yet. Like I want to make sure <laughs> that nothing else is going to shift up, but it's a good thing. Like I'm super pumped. I had gone in several months ago and just shared my heart that I was missing being in the classroom with like a group of students and building relationships with more than just my little like 14 pod of kids that are the same every single year. And they said, well, we'll see what, what happens. We'll see what's, you know, whatever. And they called me in a few weeks later and said, well, you know, we were thinking that this would be a really good position for you. And truly, there is nobody else in the building that can do it. And also truly, everyone we've interviewed is not qualified for it. Like, it is nowhere near where you you are. And so I was like, wow. Okay, well, wow. <laughs> like, wow. So I'm super pumped. That's all I can say about that. So anyhow, um, I do share at the end of my videos, for those of you who are new, and or, or last week was your first video. I share Teresa Kogut angel kindness cards. A lot of them do um, have religious themes to them. And I am a very religious person myself. So I will say, if this is not your jam, I totally get that. I will say, have a great week. Have a wonderful week. If you're sticking around, you'll not only get to hear the angel kindness card, but you'll get to hear my... Bye. Good. So long farewell. Farewell song. So long farewell song. So this was just on top and it was just speaking to me. So it's the one that I chose. Now you just spit on it. So that was gross. Um, I love this angel that's like holding the world basically. And it says, and God saw that it was good. And down here it says Genesis 1 10. So that is the end of creation. That is, before the seventh day he rested, he says, and God saw it was good. And on the back it says, it always has some kind of affirmation with these cute little birds in a heart. You are a child of God, fear not, for with God anything is possible. And there's absolutely nothing that I need to add to that. That says everything. That is what I try to live my life as. It's what I try to instill in my daughter and remind her each and every day. And it's what I try to remind myself when I'm in a situation like ending up in the emergency room on a Wednesday night when the day has been amazing and I signed my employment agreement and like it was amazing. It was an amazing day. Fear not. You are a child of God. For with God anything is possible. Amen to that. If you don't subscribe to that, just it's a beautiful piece of art. And I love these cards. And I think they are fantastic. And I think my my goal, what I would like to do going forward, um, once I think that I've made it through the whole deck, is I think what I'm going to do is um, each week try to make... And I may actually start this because I know for a fact I will be done by December. But I think starting the first week of January in 2022, I think every week... I'm going to send, either give one of these to someone in my life or send one to one of those, one of you who fills out my Google Happy Mail form below. And you won't know it's coming. But maybe just, it might just be what you need to hear. And if it's not something you need to hear and you don't enjoy it, maybe you have somebody in your life you could pass it on to. Let's pay it forward. That was a loud clap. So with that, I will say thank you so much for joining me. I wasn't sure if a video was going to happen because you know what? You get out of the habit and the routine and you're like, man, I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to do payroll tonight. I have to invoice a few things for my mom's work. And so I, I have some computer work to do after this and then maybe some stitching time. We'll see. It's been rainy all week. It's been yucky. My hair's a hot, tragic mess because carpool, morning and afternoon in 80% humidity with rain and sprinkles and a a raincoat that makes, it's like a steam bonnet. It's just, it's spring in Texas. But we needed the rain, desperately needed the rain. And so it's it's a good thing. Anywho, thank you so much for joining me. And with that, I will say, I will see you next week for video number 103 in May. And we're getting close. I think May 19th is my two year, I was about to say one year, 
two year floss tube anniversary. So we are getting close, folks. All right, so I will say so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I will see you next Friday.